Yeah. Yeah. You know how it go, man. Let's go. We're back. It's great to be back. It has been a long, long time. Welcome back to the Kataishe Podcast, featuring your host, L.A. Rice, and my co-host, Henry Freck. Oh, this isn't Henry Freck. Uh, would you like to introduce yourself? Yeah, bro. My name is Avi. Uh, Henry couldn't make it today. He didn't want to drive 15 minutes away. No. You know what I'm no saying? No good. And, uh, <laughs> Jeff, we don't mess with nothing but ice trays, right? Hey, I but ice trays. You know, I'm with the man, the legend himself, Mr. As I've done. I mean, <laughs> introduce yourself. Long awaited, man. Uh, my name is um, Jeffrey Bialos, a.k.a. JB2, a.k.a. J Sauce, a.k.a. J Money with the Honeys, a.k.a. J Smooth, a.k.a. JB2 Buckets, a.k.a. Your Mom. Okay, that's enough. That's enough. <laughs> So we're back, and this is a very special podcast because I woke up this morning, it's past May 1st, I know all of you it's tuned in for this. Biggest moment, the decision. The decision. Well, let me get this on, I gotta get this on record, bro. Where's he going, where's he going? He's signing the papers, he's signing the papers. So, get this on a snap. Where are you going, bro? Okay, this is LeBron James style, so who did you consult with your decision this morning? You know, uh, I consulted God, mm-hmm. consulted my family. Yes. Um, I thought of what was best for me. You know, Hampton, Sydney, Roanoke, VMI, CNU, JMU, they all gave me good offers. Who have you told your decision to? Uh, I've only told my mother. That is it. Your mother? Are you, are you proud of your decision when you woke up this morning? Yes. I think. L.A.? Big gap, bro. Tell them where you're going to go. I am going to. This you're fall? gonna have to. You're gonna have to watch the rest of the podcast. I what? Bro, bro, we gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. The right. commercial break. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, we're back. We're back. I told you you're gonna have to watch some of the podcast. I ain't telling you when I'm dropping the decision, but the decision is happening during this podcast. Where are you going, Mo? <laughs> just in the air. Just in the air. This is the right. air. So we got JV2 on here. What's you know what on? the first thing I got to ask? Hey. Oh, how's the love life, bro? I mean, <laughs> I'm in a healthy, happy relationship. And bro, I'm you are proud. happy. Um, yes, um, we had a good, we have a good bond. Um, we're, we're just, you know, we're living life, you know? Just mm. living life one day at a time. I mean... We'll see where it goes, though, you know? Yeah. How old are you, Jeff? Yeah, how old are you? I'm, uh, me? Yeah. I'm 17. How old is she, bro? She's 17. Mm, so it's good. Wow. It's good. So could you tell everyone her name, sir? Um, <laughs> her name is, uh, Tiam, as you guys know. Mm. Um, we're in a very good relationship, as you've seen on my Instagram. We're, we're chilling right now. We're just mm. talking. We're... You know, feeling each other out, you know. Oh, We're feeling doing, each other. I mean, oh, okay. I mean, okay, I know what yeah, you mean. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, just like, you know, verbally. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you know. I know and what you yeah, mean. of course. So, I mean. JB2, so, money with the hardest. But I gotta oh, say, bro, it's like, I'm generally a very insensitive person, but mm. now, like, I gotta, like, really? as an only child, you know, not have to, like, care about other people and stuff. Wow, that is it's, deep. It's kind of like That's a weird deep, thing, you know. You bought I mean? her a $24 meal the other day. It's getting serious. $24. Um, Where'd you, you know, take her, bro? I took her to, okay, this is a story. I took her to Eddie V's. Mm. No, you did it. Yeah, I did. Bro, you are capping, bro. $125, bro. I, it was that is some it was a, That is some JB2 ish right there, bro. Dude, that it is was, some JB2 ish. It was a little too much. I got a, man, a little over the top extravagant. I got a lot of hate in school for it. But, you know, man's got to do what he's got to do. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, this podcast. <clears throat> We had a little trouble uh, starting this up. We were driving here. We were driving around. We were in Avi's car, and he wanted to get some Chipotle. We drove there, drove back. Then he realized he tried to accelerate, and uh, we ran out of gas. (laughs) There will be some pictures inserted right now. So as you saw... He's going to Harvard! (laughs) No, as you saw... (laughs) The car was parked in the middle of the road. We had to go fill up the gas, come back. It was just a, a big summarization was, of uh He was a very, was very interesting him. experience. It's um it's something I've never met JB2 over here. Hey, that's the man, bro. It's it's yeah, God. JB2, it's man. God telling us something. Met him forty five minutes ago, I can already tell. Yeah. He's money with the honeys. 
So JB2, uh, <laughs> describe a little bit more about yourself for the people. Um, I'm a I'm a people pleaser, man. Uh, I like uh, I like anything pretty much. I like mm. women. I like sports. I like baseball. I like basketball. Even though I uh, quit baseball. Okay, but that's a different story. Okay, okay, that's a story for another day. Um, I'm a family man. I'm Jewish. You're so liberal. I'm, I mean, I am liberal. I'm a Democrat, so that's I mean that's pretty good. But I'm not that liberal. I'm like a moderate Democrat. So you say that for just the No, no, no. Okay. I am. I'm not like a Bernie Sanders supporter, but like Hillary yeah. Clinton. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so speaking of baseball, I want to talk a, bit, a little bit about our season. You know, I'm the catcher. I uh, even pitched a game. Okay. First game I pitched. Is we, ERA? 24, man. <laughs> you sucks. The first, the first game I pitched, two innings. We won the game on a walk-off. So I picked up the dub. Uh-huh. They said, you know, we might have to look into this. It's interesting. Pitch uh, a couple weeks later, it was against the 14th team in the nation with the number one recruit in Virginia. Uh-huh. Uh, it didn't go too well. well who was the 14th team? Yeah. Who was it? Uh, Benedictine. They're 14th in the nation? Yes. Benedictine. Yo. Wow. Who's number one recruit? Where's he going? Straight to the league? He's going Juco. And then he's Sheesh. going to the league. Juco? So, yeah, so I allowed four home runs. You know, uh, my 73 to 74 mile an hour fastball just didn't sneak up. What's y'all's home. record, by the way? We are, I believe, fourteen and nine. Fourteen and nine. You know, we've been starting to hit a lot better lately. We're, we've been great defense, great pitching. I mean, we had some of the best Wait, pitching. Wait, hold on, one second. Makes to my job so easy. Sorry to interrupt. Wait, how's the hair look like? I'm trying to the hair stuff. All right, he all said right, he yeah. said he got the a thousand dollar cut. He, we almost yeah, messed it up with him out there. We had to stand on the road in the rain. The it wind was, tough. was almost ruining it, yeah. man. Like it's ridiculous. Yeah. Like, you've no idea how this is like to deal with this. It's just yeah. crazy. It's like, at Supercuts, he goes all out like at Eddie V's. He gets the thirty dollar haircut. Gets the thirty dollar oh, haircut. You know? <laughs> so Avi, tell the people a little bit about yourself. My name's Avi. I'm from Great Falls, VA. Yes, sir. Born and raised. Hey. Born and raised. Langley District, baby. I don't know about all that, Jeff. Cool out. Uh, I just met Jeff exactly forty five minutes ago. Seems like I should call him Ice Drake because, as you know, all he does is keep the ice on him. I've got. I've seen a lot of videos. Wait, wait, I got a coat on. It's so cold in here, man. What the heck? Turn, turn the thermostat up. Right, come on. I see. I've seen a lot of videos of Jeff from him in school. A lot of my buddies send them to me, so I can geek at him, which I do. I do geek. Okay. I mean, and that's uh, and Avi goes to Sibo friend. Shout out Prithu. Prithu, DJ Prith. If you're watching this, you're the man, bro. You better watch this. Hey, big Prithu. shout out, Mr. Shomer. Definitely watching this, man. Senor Verde, Senor Verde, you better watch this. So, so there's a big thing I want to talk about on this podcast. There is some questions that I have received from some fans. Q and A, Q and A. But first, I want to ask Jeff a couple questions about stuff we've been talking about. Okay. So I want to talk about tell the people the time that so at Flint Hill we have town meetings. We all meet in the gym, right? Uh-huh. Tell people the time about what you did one time during a town meeting. Oh, uh, I'll Jeff, be, bro. I'll be straight. Um, Jeff, Jeff, yo, 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 cool up, bro. Jeff, I thought that was a Rolex, man. I mean, it's not. I mean, you can't get a Rolex uh, every time, on. man. Like, it's not like it doesn't work like that. But Jeff, hold that's, up. that's a citizen, bro. Hey, calm it down, bro. Hey, you, can't, you can't flex too much for the people. But I believe anyways, they sell citizens at anyways, CBS right man. next to the Kit Kat. So here's the deal. Here's the deal with the town meeting. So it's not, it's not the, I love Flint Hill. It's a great institution. Jeff, 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 Jeff. Just got to set the, hold up, hold Jeff, up. did you actually you spend that s- money at Eddie V's, my bro? I thought it was a Rolex. <laughs> man, let me answer the question, bro. Bro, Bard, you took her to Chick-fil-A, bro. <laughs> Why are you getting this call? Oh, wait, I'm getting a Snapchat from Tiam in the middle of this podcast. Ooh, what's good. it say, bro? Hold up, let's, let's, uh, hold up. She says she's typing. I don't know what that means. Wait, uh, oh, here we go. She's uh, on it. For the people, man. Uh, uh, what's uh, up? What's up? Let's see what she's saying, <laughs> oh my bro. God. And also, so what'd you say, mom? Uh, she left it. I don't know what her deal is, but hey, so, man. So what? What did you do during the town tour. meeting? What so, anyways, during this town meeting, man, I sat in the bathroom the entire time and did homework. This was like two years ago. I was kind of chilling, like uh, it was not. It was, was kind of boring, man. Like bro, I just he's not ice train no more, bro. That's a citizen, bro. He sat the on the hold toilet hold on, hold on, in the front of bathroom. Hold on, this is uh, what I just said. Hold up. My name is Jeff. What's up? Yo, we're doing the podcast right now. Say hi to LA. Wait, what? 
Um, how's it going? Good. Um, are you doing well? Oh, uh, it's it's okay. Um, so how um how did you enjoy last night? Was it good? Okay, okay, okay. Bye. <laughs> Jeez. Jeez. <laughs> Come on, Jeff. Uh, what did you guys do last night? Um, I like to be very clear. I just met Jeff forty five minutes ago. <laughs> right, so just met him forty five minutes ago. So basically, what happened was last night we went to. We went to I Jeff went to is show. LA's friend. I'm friends with LA. That's how I know Jeff. Be very clear. Okay, that. this is offensive <laughs> line of talking right here. But anyways, what happened was last night we went to I went to the production of the Music Man, which was a great production at Flint Hill School. Shout out the Music Man. Then um, <laughs> we went home. Uh, I was with uh, I was with uh, my girlfriend, um, and we had a and we just were like. Does she know you call her your girlfriend? <laughs> yes, she yeah. does. Right, and um, we were just we were just chilling. We went to like Chipotle or whatever, and we were just like we were just hanging out. Jeez, what was any of these booked up? And like we went, we were yeah, we were just hanging out in the car. It was pretty good. So yeah, you guys what the vibing? Chipotle was or the car? The Chipotle was good. <laughs> How about the car? The car was good too. <laughs> All right, all right, let's go to some questions. I appreciate all of you swiping up on my Snapchat story and asking the questions. So we're going to start firing them away. First thing, what happened to your Harry Potter glasses and why don't you wear them anymore? <laughs> so what happened to the <laughs> – so what happened was this was a stage, man. It was like sixth grade. If you don't – I mean everyone knows the infamous Harry Potter video. Hey, stay tuned. Man. Insert here. I am inserting it right here. Ready? Enjoy. Bialos from World Magic News here at the cemetery where Harry Potter rests and the few who are still standing after last How night, long is this going to play for? Voldemort destroyed Hogwarts. No, it's not. No, it's not. You played the whole video. <laughs> now that the chosen one, Dumbledore, in our best school is destroyed, what will we do? There is a fighting chance that we can defeat you know who with only one Holcrux left being his snake Nagini. But again, who do we turn to? With Why our best hopes of killing you know who gone. This Jeffrey is Jeffrey Biello saying good luck to you all and good night. Goodbye, Harry. <laughs> <laughs> Look at my man with the KDE song. Okay, okay, we're back. Thank you for advertising with literally the, probably the most interesting moment in my life. Mm -hmm. But okay. So Tag anyways, hey, oh, for sure. But anyways, okay, first of all, with this Harry Potter video, I was in fifth or sixth grade, so I don't think I deserve the hate, but you know, it's whatever. But anyways, it was a moment, man, and the glasses, the glasses, I don't wear them anymore, because like, I'm trying to be a good looking stud like I am today, so I mean. Well, that's not working. I, <laughs> sure. Sure. All right, sure. um, there's a question, and this is a serious problem. Hold on one second. I gotta fix the light. This is a serious problem in our day and age, as you know, and it's also Mental Health Awareness Month. So, shout out mental health uh, people, whatever you call them. Bro, so, bro, bro, he's capping. I'm not associating that. So, he's capping. Uh, I have received a question from somebody. It said, Jeffrey, do you have any official mental health issues? Um, I don't have any official mental health issues. I'm just, I can understand why people would think that, but I'm naturally like this. Like my personality, but yes, I understand. Damn, are you for real? Would think that. Okay. But um, but yes, uh, like just, uh, just as obvious, like I, like I literally asked in the car, is this kid a real human being? So like both me and him, like I don't understand. No, no, Jeff, Jeff. There's a big difference between me and you. Huge. What, what's the difference? What's the difference? Describe. You told me to keep it PG. You told me to keep it PG. I can't keep it. I can't keep it PG. <laughs> Okay, the, okay, next question. Next just question. just all, 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 all my brothers out there, they know. This ain't that long. Okay, okay. next question. This Who likes that. money more, me or Jeff? It's me, bro. Dude, I look, was just sitting in this car. Look at what I'm rocking right now. I man. was sitting in this kid's look, look car. Shout out Citizen Gang, Target, Kmart, get yours now, bro. <laughs> I was sitting in Avi's car, and every second he would look away. At... Oh shoot! Isn't there? I a dropped video? a penny. Seriously. <laughs> Isn't there a video of you collecting pennies, like in a jar? Can we explain that for the viewers? Yeah, there's many of them. You know, 
Once you add up the coins after a while, it equates to a lot of money. I don't care what you people say. You can I don't care what you people say. <laughs> you people, you know who you are, the ones who don't want them to collect pennies. You, I'm one of them. You can, you can collect pennies or you can throw them out the window. You collect pennies, <laughs> it equates to hundreds of dollars that you can spend on stuff. You know, it's all money. I, I understand. Money is money. That's true. So, next uh, Money question. motivation, hashtag. Why is Jeff dating a girl stronger than him? Whoa, this has been geez. a big question at Flint Hill. Um, uh, first of Jeff all, is Jeff is very bro, skinny. Jeff, how much you bench, bro? I weigh like a whole 140, okay, which is like nothing. But I actually am pretty strong. I'm not gonna lie. I'm like low key. I'm I'm not I'm not that skinny. All right, let's relax here. I got some meat to me, and I'm not. I can tell you first. Does your girlfriend know you have some meat to you? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Um, I'm stronger than her. Like, I wouldn't be dating a girl who I'm stronger than. If you ever watch the episode, shout out Drake and Josh, best show as a youngin. Mm -hmm. Why can't you? Why can't you? Why can't you? You see that? You see that? Jeff, it's 2019. Why can't you yeah, date a girl who's stronger than you, bro? Because, like, I just don't want to. Like, I would rather be, you know, stronger. Like, a man, like I'm supposed to be, like, a positive, like, the enforcer, the one who, like, backs her up. The I'm enforcer. Stronger. Healthy relationships, ladies and gentlemen. The man should be the enforcer. To no, quote no, no, not Jeffrey Bialos. <laughs> I, I, strong, independent woman is a is a great concept, but I just like to be great known. concept. This guy, he can't so stop the next question is for me. Shout out to all the powerful women I know. I know tons of them. You know who you are friends with a bunch of them. You know who you are. Yep. So you know, when I do this, it's not the same as when Jeff does this. You know what I mean. Next question: Why in this is directed to me? Why in your right mind would you want to attend Virginia Military Institute, VMI, because that was my final two, VMI and so many more questions, no. bro. Uh, attend Virginia Military Institute if you are trying to serve. Who said that question? Jonathan Dion. Oh, uh, JD, Mo, JD, Mo. Hey. You're canceled. Both, both um, part of the, the culture, the religion of Judaism. So, so that is a great question, Dory, and uh, I'm not attending VMI, so... <laughs> I'm going to JMU. That's my big decision. Insert JMU sticker, whatever. <laughs> if you had told me a month ago, maybe. I think Larry, every single day of his life since we were freshmen, said, I'll never go to JMU. I yeah. think that if you told me wow, what a great 10 days ago, I would have said I'm not going to JMU. I remember a quote I told to a friend uh, a couple weeks back. I said, Shout out Dylan. Now, Garrett, if you did have the Dylan, instinct, Garrett. Real, real problems here. He said he had the in-state problem with the money and stuff. Mm -hmm. So if you didn't have that problem, where would you apply? Um, I would probably be going to Penn State. Makes sense. But, I mean, I wanted to stay close to Although home, too. that's not that easy to get. Like, that easy. It's gotten a lot easier. I I, th I feel like with my grades, I could have I could have gotten it. You got a chance. Um, there were a lot of friends of mine that had grades the same as mine, if not worse, that got in. But, I mean, I could have gone out of state for college. But I would have had to um, chip in more. And if I want to go to graduate school, that it would have complicated right. a lot of things. So I feel like if I go to JMU, um, if I don't like it, I'm going to transfer out. It's done. I've, I've had that mindset. I've had it for a while. I'd love oh, shit. What? My whoa, dog. whoa. Cancel that. I forgot one of my other dogs, Garrett. Congrats, bro. Yeah. So at JMU... You guys got to hit my line, whoever's going to JMU. I know I'm going to be banning. There's so with, many people going to JMU, yeah, bro. I'm going to be banning with my bros. Phil, Garrett. Carter. Uh, Phil, Garrett. Uh, <laughs> Tyler. Tyler. Who am I? Um, Dylan. T-Com. You said Tyler. Oh, yeah. But T come uh, always be sending me videos of you. Like, yeah. look at this dude, and I'm yeah. like T come legend. Yeah. Hey, follow me on Instagram at Jeff B seven zero three. I'm, I'm bleeping that out. I'm bleeping that out. But yeah, I'm probably gonna feel. I'm probably gonna room with Phil. It's gonna be a great time because we both have a lot of common interests. Uh, I've we've talked about rooming together in a school, not just JMU, for a long time. Any school, but. It's going to be a fun time. We both like sports, both like video games. Okay, now like this is the best part about the podcast. Let's talk about some college football. Okay, what do you have to say about it? This yeah. guy, once Avi gets fixated on something, it can be... Who's your favorite college football team? 
I don't have a favorite. I just like watching college football. Okay, say what you want to say about college football. What I'm thinking for college football, my picks this year coming up. Hey, I'm thinking, I'm thinking Alabama. What we've been looking at with Alabama last year. Oh my God, you're a genius, All Jeff. Right. Jeff, who won the national championship last year? Clemson. Clemson. Yeah, that's why it's a hot take. <laughs> <laughs> they go to the championship every year. But what I'm saying about Alabama, I see Tua. I don't know about him being a. It's all that past college. It's a I think he's going to get the Heisman curse. We should insert, he hasn't won the Heisman, the but Vegas, I think he's going to get Vegas the Heisman curse. line that will show Alabama yeah. being like so much further odds than anyone else. So this is Real talk, though. Yeah. Daniel Jones. Duke? No. no Duke. He's not good. Hey, man. Dwayne Askins hometown is a hero. Hey, shout out Bullis, hometown hero. Dwayne Askins, Dwayne I know Askins you're watching coming. this. Hey, that's the bro right Dwayne now. Askins, if Hail you can be our franchise QB and help us out, Mo. Thank you. DC God. Hey, DMV. So this is one of my favorite segments. I'm boring, so this is one of my favorite segments. Song of the Week. So I'm going to play my Song of the Week, and I know Jeff has a couple Song of the Week. Uh, my favorite right now is Young, Wild, and Free. Snoop Dogg! We just having fun. We don't care who's Hey, I'm a world-class singer for all you people who didn't know. Jeff, is there anything you're bad at, bro? <laughs> Pretty, like, nothing. Baseball nothing. Yeah. and basketball. Funny, but, I mean, hey, we could talk about basketball that time I dropped. Who's <laughs> who's? 20 points. So this guy paid about $200. 20, 20 points in a rec league. Oh, rec league. Okay. This going. guy paid probably $160, $200 to play in a house basketball league, showed up to one game. It was against our team. Hey. We beat him by 60 or 70 points. He played the whole game. He had 20 points. He had 50 shots. As so. a former house state, hey, first of all, Kobe gang. I mean, that's why 50 shots, 20 points, no big deal. Second of all, as a former. 50, as 50 a, shots? What? I didn't take 50 shots. As a former, I, I, I was there, bro. I saw a, you, you were kept, there. You he kept did. popping them, and they in. kept going everywhere. As else a former, as a former house league MVP, I only felt the need to go to when one game. When were you a house league yeah. MVP? Fifth grade, bro. Bard, that's false. Bro. But anyways, getting back to the song of the week, bro. Yeah. As a music connoisseur and the resident hype beast of this crew, as you can see by the we're G- not a crew. Right we here. are not a crew. Uh, Keep going. I am the crew. That's all that You are your one man crew. I'm the crew. I'm a wolf. I'm a wolf pack. You ever seen Hangover? I I'm a one man wolf pack. Like Alan. I don't like wolf pack people. <laughs> You're. Jeez, jeez, jeez. <laughs> what is uh, it? I don't know the reference, but okay. You don't Anyways. You know what I Y N Y. Anyways. Oh, I Y K Y K. If you know, you know. I don't like wolf pack. I know. Hey, if you know, you know. Anyways. If you know, you know. Song I've been pumping recently, bro. I've been pumping, uh, Hey, we're going to their concert. I've been Who's pumping. we? Who's we? Who's singing this? Yo. Yo, Cole. Hey, Jonas Brothers. Shout that's what's Jonas up. Shout Brothers. out Jonas they're Brothers. Back. Who's hey, going with you to their back. concert? Uh, I'm buying like four tickets. I don't know yet, actually. It's going to be fresh, though. If I'm in town, Jeff, I might have. Yeah, I mean, I'm buying like four tickets. Yeah. You, the, hey, Pre-sale tomorrow. T- uh, when's the concert? August fifteenth. So it's gonna be lit. Yeah. So let's talk about. How about we talk about prom and summer plans? Yeah. Like, that's yeah, a big topic of conversation, yeah. man. So uh, what's up with you? So I just went to Madison prom. It was a good time. Mommy had a great time. Mm-hmm. I had a good time. Um, <laughs> <All> right, Tom. <laughs> uh, I take my naps early, bro. He takes his naps early. Naps you know, he got oh, you a got a tired. eleven o'clock curfew, of course. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, so yeah, it was a good time. Summer plans. I'm playing for post twenty baseball again. I don't think we'll be as good as last year, but we're gonna be good. Uh, I mean, we can hit. I mean, some of the competition we face is oh, post one eighty baseball. Shout out Chris Blake. Chris, Chris Blake. Blake Chris Blake. Blake. Jeff, you don't know who that is. Stop yeah. that. Hey, Chris. Chris right? Blake. Chris Blake. My man. But we Woo! got. Man. But we got man, beach I, week. I look good right now. Dang, I look good. Larry, cut this kid out of here. <laughs> so we got Beach Week. Uh, I'm going to go to Bethany Beach a lot. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to get a job. I'm going to get my dream job, pizza delivery guy. I was uh, My dream job I was actually, for high school. High school. Because uh, I, I'm, I'm probably – I'm asking my own question, my summer plan that we got my boy Avi. But uh, I was invited to – Not uh, his boy. He I was invited to senior week. Um, 
or oh, like beach yeah. week, beach week. But I'm not. I can't go because wow. I have a summer summer internship. Very privileged mm, to have an internship wow. this summer. Um, where are you working? I'm, I'm okay. Um, where are you working? That's a good question. I'm working at the the Capitol, the U.S. Capitol. Good for you. So, um, so it's very privileged. It's an honor to be working at such a amazing place, you know, obviously. But um, anyways, um, this summer we're doing. Uh, I was gonna do Corolla that weekend, that week, like because uh, I was invited, but no. But uh, I'm going to prom with like her group, her seniors. I think like Simon Selly maybe is in that group or. I don't yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Have fun, Shout out buddy. Nick Simon Have Sally. fun, buddy. Have fun. <laughs> Have fun. Shout out my dog, Nick, bro. <laughs> yes, sir. No, Jeff. No. Bro, he has adopted all of, you know, three pairs, three pairs. Shout out to three pairs, Mo. If you know, if you know a lot of his kids saying three pairs, three pairs, that's my game. Hey, bro. so anyways, man. So what we're doing is, um, what's going to happen is this summer, <laughs> after <laughs> I, um, after I do the Corolla thing, okay, there's, like, stop, 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 stop. All right, okay, stop. That's stop. good. <laughs> <laughs> so after I do the Corolla, North Carolina thing, and that, for my 18th, because I'm turning 18 on July 6th, I was thinking of going with some boys to either, like, Toronto or Europe or something. Mm. We'll hit it We'll hit it up. It's going to be a fun time. It'll be a great yeah. time. Lit. Yeah, so, yeah. That's awesome. Well, who do you so, want to take with you, bro? Shout out some names. Shout yeah. out some names. Uh... Actually, that's still considering. I'm still thinking about that. So this uh, usually in the last few minutes of my podcast, I like talking about politics. The biggest thing that has happened since my last podcast, which has been a while, Ooh. is um, I want to talk about a big loser. Who? Probably the biggest loser in America. Who are we, who are we just? If you could cut an American, I would cut him. That, okay, I don't know who you're talking about. Jesse Smollett. Okay, this isn't politics. A, it's a lot of politics that go into it. I mean, there's a politics that go into it, but I mean, like, I thought you were talking about, oh. Yeah, I, 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 agree, with, with I agree with you, too. This isn't politics. I agree with you. What do you think about that? A liberal's perspective, I want to know. Um, first of all, a moderate Democrat. Moderate. But anyways, um, I would agree with I would agree with you. It's, it's ridiculous. You can't fake that. Like, that's... that's fake to hate horrible. crime. Yeah, exactly. That's... No, no. I agree with this. Not, there's no politics. Like, I feel like... Tisk, tisk, tisk. <laughs> I agree with I agree yeah, with it, good, but good. there's nothing to argue about. Yeah, I mean he should be it's going to jail for a very long time. And it is ridiculous to me that he is. They exonerated him of the charges, didn't he? Yeah, but um. But there's like, still a lot of civil cases against no, him. And most, I, I feel like this is a political issue because most Democrats would even say. I know, but I, I I'm thinking of politics into it because he said that when he got beat up, they were wearing Trump hats and said this is. MAGA country bleep. But I mean, like, I mean, I, I don't know, like, if that, I mean, a lot of people are Democrats and, like, hate Donald Trump, but that doesn't, doesn't associate with that. Yeah. I mean, we'll see, but this upcoming election, we'll see what happens, so I'm, I'm hopeful for anyone. I don't have a candidate yet, but I'm still thinking, so we'll see. Yeah, Trump 2020. That's your candidate. That's not my candidate. So I want to thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you for listening to my decision, JMU 2023, but more likely JMU 2020 and then somewhere else. Hey, it was great Hopefully. talking to you guys. I'll see you in the future. Maybe I'll make some Yo, Jeff, today. call up your girl right quick, bro. No. Um, I'm a... Jeez, my sister's going to watch we, this. We might get a, a new... Hey, you like the first Harry Potter? We might get a... a might get a remake coming soon. 2P coming, maybe soon. We're thinking about it. We've been We're talking. We're thinking in the Jeff, world. Jeff, Jeff, Jeff. Last, just to end this podcast, tell them all the names you go by, bro. Um, J Smooth, J Money with the Honeys, JB2, JB2 Buckets, Treyway, uh, <laughs> anything the ladies want. That's <laughs> <laughs> what, what, isn't it only what one lady wants? Well, yeah. at, the mo- at the moment, yeah. Yeah, at the moment. All right, guys. Well, thanks again. I hope you all have a great week. Next podcast. Ladies and gentlemen, Jeff is a star in parking lots. He's a star. He's <laughs> we, a star. He we doesn't got, get frazzled. We got a lot of... Uh, uh, I don't understand the reference. Yeah, there. it was the gas yeah. thing. But yeah, so my next podcast, I will let you know when it's coming out. I got a list of people that want to be on it. But there might be a, a beef cast coming out soon. Too. Hey, a revival. legendary show, man. The legendary. Revival. You know, I get people coming up to me all the time about it. But like I said, thank you once again. 
And I hope you all have a great week, great summer. Shout out Pritu. JB Gone. And Gangway. I'll see you, boys. And ladies.